Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Human Colony Saturday webinar. Today is Saturday, March 25th, 2017. And today we have Julie Ruiz, who has joined us to a channel. Good morning, Julie. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here and, and see what happens today. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. I know you've been around in the community for a while. Um, I've seen a lot of stuff that you've done here and there, and um, you are definitely gifted. And so we're excited to see what comes through today through you. Um, and so before we get started with uh, the awesomeness of today. Just some really quick announcements as far as um, what we have going, if you would please. Take a minute to go to humancolony.org at any point if you want to check out what events that we have scheduled or anything we're um, working on. Also, you can check out the website, go through. If you have any recommendations for uh, improving the website, please let us know. This has been a volunteer effort, and um, the same goes for hosting. So if you have any suggestions or recommendations, we love hearing from people, and we love um, implementing the feedback. Um, uh, in that, on that note, also we are looking for more hosts to do this type of job that I'm doing. Um, so if you are interested in helping out so that we can continue webinars like this, especially every Saturday, um, then please email max at humancolony.org so that we're able to get more people on board. We will teach you how to do the hosting um, and so that we can keep everything going. So that would be greatly appreciated, as well as if you would like to transcribe videos for us. We are looking for people to transcribe channelings. Please let Max know. Email him and um, that would be greatly appreciated. Check out our Facebook pages. We have Facebook pages and groups. We are planning a human colony retreat in New York, I believe Rochester, later this year, um, possibly sometime in July. So if you would like to be involved in the coordination, planning, um, and uh, like cooking and events and stuff while we're there, it's probably gonna be a little over a week or so. Details have not fully been figured out, but um, let Max know if you'd like to help out, and that would be greatly appreciated. Um, other than that, I don't think that we have any other announcements for Human Colony, but uh, Julie, um, if you would please go ahead and kind of introduce yourself and what you do, and then if you have any um, events or anything that you would like to um, your spotlight. We would love to hear what you have going on. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. All right. So my name is Julie, and I am a conscious channeler. So when I'm channeling information, I'm um, aware of my surroundings. I'm very involved in in the channeling. So I connect with um, the angelic realm, so angels and spirit guides, and I also connect with um, galactic beings. And I also connect with crystals. I can um, channel those as well. So I'm pretty open and flexible. Um, so just feel free to ask your question, and then I'll do my best to connect with um, with that being. Now, if that being doesn't doesn't come through, and another being comes through, then I'll just share those messages because. Before um, I do any sessions, I always ask for the most important messages to come through. So what you receive will be the thing that you really need to know right, right in this moment. Now the way that they communicate with me is through my um, clairvoyance, through my third eye. So they show me images and symbols, and sometimes I can hear their messages. They send messages to me telepathically and also feel them in my heart center. So all that information sort of combined, I just interpret it and put it all together and then share the message with you guys. I think, I think that's, that's about it. Feel free to ask me you know, questions if you have other questions about it. So as far as events, I'm going to try to be, do an event every um, other weekend, every two weeks. So you can go to my website, and it's higherhealingbyjulie.com, and I have an events page. So that's where my events will be posted, and um, the links and everything, and there's more information there. 
Okay, wonderful. And we're going to go ahead and be putting um, the links for, you know, your website and your channel and everything into the description. So um, if guys want to uh, check that out, you can just go right in the description. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's super exciting to have you here, Julie. I was so pleased um, when you said that you were able to pop in. So we already have some questions lining up here. Um, I guess quickly I'll go ahead and just introduce everybody we have here in the room. Um, we have, uh, this morning we have Chris with us, Brian, Katie, David Allen, uh, Douglas, Herkimer Diamond, Jasmina, Johannes, uh, Julie, Ly Lila, um, Michelle, Nabila, Star, Stephanie, and myself, Bree. And um, awesome, so welcome everybody and thank you all for joining. I will be taking questions on YouTube live chat as well. So if people would like to ask questions there, um, go ahead and please post your questions. I'll be checking that out as well as in the mobile Google Hangout chat box. So um, with that said, Julie, we already have some questions lining up here. Um, so would you be ready to get started? Yeah, we can do that. Um, the guides are ready too. So <laughs> there's there there I can feel lots of energy. So we can get started. That's fine. Let's we'll get started with questions. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, it looks like Jasmina has a question first off. Hello. Hi, Jasmina. Oh, Jasmina, we cannot, I can't hear you. Are you able to, um, your internet keeps cutting out? About uh, my guide. Were you able to catch that, Julie? Um, Jasmina, I think you might have to type that out. Mm -hmm. Something about her guides. Messages, messages from her guides. Okay, so so I'll do just a general message and I'll see who steps forward and we'll do it that way. Okay, give me just a moment, I'll be right back. Okay, so they're showing me an image first. So they're not giving me a lot of information right away. And that's okay. It just means I'll have to talk through it a little bit. So what they're showing me is you sitting at a desk, and I can see you putting um, its information in envelopes. So, and there's several guides there. There's not one that's stepping forward quite yet. It's just more like a group collective. So what well, the message I'm getting is that it's time for you to start sharing your information more. So they're showing it as you're putting your information in the envelopes and you're mailing it out. So for me, that means the information is going to a, a large group, a lot of people over long distances. So if you want to, you could um, type and ask for a uh, more detailed question if, if you like. But it's really, they, they're showing you sort of sitting in a chair and it feels very weighted to me. I can feel like um, there's lots of pressure on the chair. So it's sort of like you're stagnant right now. You're not doing um, a lot of movement that, that, that you want to and need to do. So their guidance for you is for you to start, just start sharing the information that you have. There's information that you've been given and they're showing me over um, a couple of years, you've received downloads and different types of information, and it feels very closed in on your heart center. So take that information and just share it with, with other people. 
and it doesn't have to be a difficult process. So I can see it's kind of, um, it feels kind of difficult, but you're not exactly sure, you know, what to do with the information you have and where to start. So it can, um, it can just, so they're, they're doing this, so they're showing me, it can be one-on-one, -on -one. so sharing your information one-on-one -on -one with someone, or maybe in the group chats, or, um, so they're saying, they're stepping up, and they're saying that they will help you with that. So if you're ready to share your information with others, then they can step in and they can help you to know what to do next and to take it step by step because right now it feels like it's it's a lot of pressure on you. It's keeping you sitting still because you don't know exactly how to get the information out or what has to happen. But your guides will help you just take it um, one step at a time. And it's a collective. They're not... There, not one is not stepping forward on purpose, and I can't feel a definite female or male energy. It's very mixed on purpose because it's a collective group of guys. So the way that you could, you may already know um, who they are, but but if not, then you could um, just ask for your collective. That's the specific word they're using. So just ask for them to come through. But I feel like you already know who they are or there's already been some communication there. How to start to share, to share the info. Yeah. Yeah. So, so just, um, so just start with asking your collective first because the information that you're going to receive from them is, it's sort of, it's very detailed and it depends on the timing. So it depends on the time and, and when you decide that you want to move forward. So if they give me um, action steps for you now, if they say, okay, now you can do this or this, then by the time that you get ready to do it, then that might, that might change and the action step might be different. So that's why they're saying just to contact them when it, whenever you're ready for that. And also, that they want you to look at it. Um, they're showing like uh, like balance, so like and two two sides. That it's not something that you have to. As far as for for doing that as a job or career, that it's not something that you have to just start off um, just right out out the gate and and just doing it. That this will be something really that you'll build up to doing that you'll, you'll have to build up and do those little steps. But they also want you to know that <clears throat> once you sort of commit to that and once you start connecting with them, this collective, that things will move fast for you. And they'll move much faster than they have been moving. Things have been very slow, slow with you. So once you connect with them, ask is being energetically ready to share information and to change on a different pathway. So once you feel like you want to do that, then you ask to speak with your co the collective. Just You could call them the collective if you don't already have a name for this group. And then just say, it's basically changing your energy and saying, I'm ready to do this. And then the steps will come to you. They'll speak with you. And then just know that things will happen quickly. So be at a good space and a, and a good um, time when you can do that because you know, things will move faster around you than they have been. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. um, great. We have a, a lot more. The queue is really lighting up here quickly. So um, next we had a question from YouTube Live user. The username is Godarium2. Um, who was asking if there are any messages for them. And thank you. Have a nice day. Uh, is Godarium, is, is Godarium male? Um, I am not able to tell, including, yeah, it's just uh, Godarium okay. underscore two is the username. Okay, okay.
Okay, so this message came rather quickly. So this is a, a general message um, from your guys. So they showed me that it's important for you to be outside and in nature. So as as soon as I connected with them, they just showed me like bam, just right outside and just nature all around me. So they also showed me um, like your wrists sort of almost like tied to um, like electronics. So for you in particular, it's important for you to be outside and connecting with nature to balance that out. Some people can spend lots of time on computers and with electronics and it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't bother them. We all have different sort of thresholds. But for you, there needs to be more connecting with nature and being outside than, than connecting with the, with the electronics. Because they're showing like a wheel and the wheel is sort of like, um, like slowing down. So you'll notice that when, you, when you're on the electronics a lot, you tend to feel more sluggish. Although they're telling me that, that it's part of your work, that you do that as part, part of your work. So it's sort of, it's like a necessity for you to be around the electronics. But they want you to, um, they're sort of pushing like your, your heart center and they're encouraging you to be outside more and connecting, connecting with nature. So also they're showing me a, um, a crystal that you can put next to your electronics and um, that's smoky quartz. So it's not the normal crystal that, that uh, the, the guy suggests to me for the electronics, but, but for you, I, I'm just, so they're explaining to me that the reason why the smoky quartz is because the smoky quartz is very deep in the ground and it's very rounding. So it's sort of like um, it's different. It's not that it's clearing away the electrical fields, it's that it's sort of bringing in nature's um, energy for you. So they're saying to me that there's some issues with headaches or something in this in this region, some type of pressure headaches. So they want you to know that this is the solution to that is going outside and, and connecting with nature. And also when you're outside, the type of people that you come in contact with are going to be different than the type of people in your normal uh, workplace or working environment, your normal working environment. That's also important for you is connecting with other, other people. Julie, Brie dropped out, so I'm just going to step in, okay? Okay, okay. Michelle, thank you. <laughs> okay, so actually I'm next. <clears throat> I would, like, I would like to brag that I followed my last message from you, from my angel group, <laughs> with regard to the healing. Um, it was difficult, but not impossible. Oh, yay, Bree's back. Um, so um, what has happened has been a series of really beautiful, magical events. I mean, there's been scary terror, you know, situations also, but but like in between the hard stuff, I get like little presents. Like I'll go to the park and I'll meet like a little brown boy will come walking toward me and he'll be like, I know you. And then we have this conversation and then we end up talking about meditation and doing it together. And then I go back to the park a couple of days later and I have, I'm surrounded by four kids who want to do me, who want to do yoga with me. And then we talk about meditation and we talk about, you know, how games are supposed to be fun and not mad making things and, you know, really interesting, delightful, amazing, serendipitous events, just like one after the other. So actually my question is because I'm caring for someone and, and so I'm kind of like the driver, the cook, the maid, um, the secretary. And also I recognize that because uh, I, I try and get people to come visit, right? And he woke up 
it was, he got very angry yesterday because I don't want people coming to my house, which of course, you know, when you're in a state of debilitation, I understand like you get angry and you take it out on the person who's, you know, the one who's willing to take it. But as it turned out, you know, a couple of guys came over and brought a huge platter of sushi and it was an amazing, beautiful evening. And, <laughs> and I'm wondering like, so this, process of me doing the caretaking I'm having to reach out of my comfort zone and ask for help and so I'm being bold about it actually like I'm really impressed but and I quote David said you're like a bull in a china shop <laughs> and I don't know if I'm overstepping because there's this AA community that I was a part of here and I know a lot of people so I have gotten like a lot, I need to look at your, let you look at me. I have gotten a lot of help. Like my lawyer drew up papers, you know, for me to do power of attorney, et cetera, stuff like that. So lots of really neat stuff. It's just like bing, 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 bing. So I want to know if I'm being too pushy or if I'm doing it the right way, what would be a suggestion like that? I'm, that's where I am. I'm just like, and also, Let's start there. Okay. Yeah, there so they were um giving me information. So as you're talking about different things, they're giving me different points of information. So um for one thing, in the beginning when you were talking about how the more you know, when you're out, you know, they're they're sort of you notice know, people are coming to you more. So that's assistance from your guides because your inner purpose is to help larger amounts of people. But right now, there's this contract where you're just helping the one person. So this is from your guides because you are not um, as able to go out and do that type of work. So the work is coming to you. So the work is, work is coming to you. So they want to explain that's what's happening. And that was um, decided by you on a soul level because mm -hmm. you didn't want to only do your contract you wanted right. to also keep working in your in your purpose right now for the other things that that have come up so and and they are very proud of you so they they want you want you to know that that they they hear and see of course and they feel everything that you're going through and they're very proud of how you're handling it is um, their words because you're handling things a little differently than how you used to or how you normally would. Completely. Yeah. Yeah. And that's part of the contract too. That's part of something you're learning, learning in that that will help you in the, in the future. So they do want um, their suggestion is that there are some boundaries set and this is sort of what you're feeling. You just haven't really known exactly how to do it. So when you're caretaking for someone, that's a lot of energy, you know, you know what that, that's a lot of energy spent, spent out. So although that um, this person is sick, um, there needs to be an understanding because this hasn't really been done. It's just been sort of like, I'm here and I'll take care of you. But there hasn't been any type of sort of, I guess, rules you would call them. Mm -hmm. Rules might be a little harsh, but you know things, ways to do things. Mm -hmm. So it's important for you to connect with your people while you're taking care of him. And that needs to be said specifically. I want to take care of you and be my best for you. But for me, I need to connect with other people. We already are clear on that. Actually, we are. Yeah, I've been I make play dates for myself also. Yeah. Perfect. That, and that's also um, she, they're showing it's a female guy. She's like coming through more clearly. Marisha. She's showing me that. Yes. Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> she does not want me to be bored in this lifetime. She does yeah. a good job. <laughs> <laughs> what is yeah, she saying? She's very energetic herself. So when she's around you, she she probably gives you that, and then you feel definitely a need to connect with with other people. But this is also um, she's showing a book. So this is also part of your learning is learning how to, to set the boundaries. So she's saying, would it have, wouldn't it have been nice for you to set boundaries first and to think about when you're doing these big things 
and helping people. Oh, I want to help you, and but just so you know, this is me, and this is this is what I need, because this is something that's going. This is going to be a pattern for the rest of your life, as far as you helping people. Right. You, know, you know, helping right. people. So it's important for you to learn how to how to to do the boundary thing and everything. And cool. So also, she wants you to know that. Um, she wants you to know she doesn't want to give a really timeline. Sometimes I can feel, but she wants you to know that this will not go on this way, you know, like forever. You know, that there will be a time when things will shift and change. Mm -hmm. So she wants you to do I mean, really, there's there's really nothing new because you're you're listening and you're you're following everything. But she wants you to know that all of this has purpose. And it all has to do with your contract and, and the lessons and things. So, Well, it is interesting because I do go to these meetings and I sit in the lotus position because that's where I'm most comfortable and I'm really super chill. I've been asked to speak and I'm like, really, if you guys only knew, <laughs> you don't want what I have. Trust me. <laughs> well, they do. They do want the peace I feel inside, but um, the, um, I don't know. Bree said we could ask two questions, but maybe we could do. Um, I don't know how you feel about this. Bree, interject if you think this is inappropriate. But Brooke gave me this beautiful thing, mm -hmm. and for my birthday, and it makes me very, very happy. And I know you are super good at this. If this is not an appropriate time, that is okay. Also, it is just yeah. clear quartz. It's not a um it's not it's natural it's really yeah. nice it's, and and i did um i did i feel a crystal there that wanted to communicate so so that's um so with this crystal um it wants to be with with something like really green so and yeah and it's also um for your heart chakra because you're doing a lot of self love love work so it's amplifying. The course is there to amplify what you're already doing, what you're already doing, and they want you to continue doing. But keep it with, if you keep it with something green, a really nice green, whatever green you sort of visualize with your heart chakra, then, then it will also take that frequency and be able to support you even more. Now, do you feel like you need to have it close to you, like all the time, like you feel like it needs to be close? Well, I have I have a whole bunch of grids set up in David's bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> in my space, I I always go back and get it and bring it here. And I set it actually on top of this carnelian disc, so it sits. Okay. Um, because I like my thought was stay grounded. I don't know. I only have a piece of jade and I've had a piece, one piece of. I mean, tumble the popple, green apophyllite. So those okay. are the only two green stones that I have with me that I'm aware of. Well, you, um, what you could do is, because the way I see it, it's more like a um, material. So you could get some type of um, green oh. material, a clock okay. or something, anything. Just to amplify heart, that, the heart. Yeah, okay. you could wrap it in it when you're not using it, and then it'll absorb that frequent, that color and just... Okay. Keep and and follow continue to follow your guidance with I need it next to me right now and I need it next to me right now because that's yeah. how it works. Send you yeah. a little message. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I love you so much. Love you too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. All right. Um, we have a question from Christine Raposa. Uh, she was asking if you're able to tell her who will be accompanying her, accompanying her today besides her dogs on her trip. Okay. All right. Let's see what I can, what I get for that. Be right back.
Okay. So the the type of energy I feel is a younger energy. And then when I connect with it more, it feels like a child energy. So then something interesting, I also felt a hybrid child energy. So I don't know if if Christine is open or, or aware of the um, hybrid children or that type of thing, but but this is what I feel. So it's either a hybrid child that will be accompanying her inner, you know, energetically, or either a child that she that she is close to, one of her own, or that she is close to. It feels more like it's close to that that is um, that is hybrid child. So I'm not quite sure exactly, but because I can't I can't tell if it's more energetic or, or physical. But either way, it's hybrid child energy. And I feel like that she has felt this energy before, this hybrid child energy. It's not, so this isn't, it doesn't feel like a new experience. It feels like that there's some type of awareness there, even if it's only um, in the astral, because there is, there's lots of communication in the astral. Now, does she, um, I don't know if she's able to, to say or not connect with the hybrid child or I could um, see if there's some guides that have information about that. What do you think? Um, you know, I would not be surprised if she would like more information on that, but um, while she's responding here, she was asking um, what stones you might, re or you, etc., cetera, <laughs> might recommend she takes on her trip. Okay. Okay. I can do that. Okay, so I'll connect with both, and then we'll just see what, what type of information comes through. Thank you. Okay, so the stones came through first. So the type of um, stones, and it does feel like, like more like like a tumbled type of crystal, like a tumbled stone, something more smooth. So any type of water crystal, watery, like blue, or has those watery properties, that would be um, the perfect. Now, I don't know if she's going somewhere where there there is water. But um, or if it's dry and she needs that water energy, but but that's what that's what I'm seeing. So even especially the lighter color blues, not not like the darker darker ones, but like the lighter color blues and like blue green, those types of watery stones. And I'm seeing them in your pockets so that you can take them out and like hold them hold them in your hands. Now the um, so the hybrid child information wants to come through. So I'm going to just connect with that and, and see what's there. Okay, so I just want to give you a little bit of information about your hybrid child, and then if you um, want more details or if you have to have more questions, then you can you could private message me, or or send me email or something like that. So I just want to share with you that um, the hybrid child that I'm seeing that is going with you on the trip, because there may be more than one, but the one that I feel the energy specifically with you is a, a male. To hybrid child but he has very long hair and he has very um very a very soft type of energy a female type of energy but he's actually there um for protection so um if he's showing me like you're sort of crossing some type of boundary 
So I don't know if it's some type of border or if it's just that it's it's just or if you're just going to a different place that's not on your side of town or something like that. So so he um, offers protection for you when you do traveling outside of your so he's showing like a square. So like outside of your sort of home area, he tends to travel with you. So I'll just leave it at that. And then if you have more info, more questions, you could you can message me. Okay, thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, she had commented a uh, blue lace agate in uh, the YouTube live. So I'm sure she appreciates that. Awesome. Okay, um, moving forward, we have a question next from Chris. Hi, thank you. Um, all right, my body is just busted and my energy is busted um i've been trying to communicate with guides a lot because i find myself in bed a lot now um i'm getting really well i th i think i connected with that they wanted to call themselves the angelic collective um but i'm really excited about um potentially doing this thing called it's candy he candy's healing protocol um for fixing my body um there's a master fast system that i'm really excited about for um long term and lifelong detox and also i've been doing a little bit of tapping and eft for trauma work um so that i can be out of bed um because a lot of my support systems seem to be falling away and there's just been a lot of fear so um but i'm also i have days where i'm just really not good and everyone has to be arranged around everyone else to support me and there's just a lot crumbling but like i'm still trying to have a lot of positivity as much as possible um i don't know if you have any Thing that they want to say um so do you want me to connect with the angel collective that you've been feeling around you lately do you want me to connect with them uh yeah sure okay Okay, so they're very excited about the healing, that healing protocol that you want to do. That feels very positive, and they're very um, excited about that. So they're showing me you going through that process, and then at the end, I can see you uh, like very shiny, like a very shiny. And, and right now, um, your energy, it, feel, it looks very flat around you. And at the end of doing that whole process, you're just like 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 diamond, like very very shiny. <laughs> so what they want you to know is that there is some um, there's some resistance within yourself, and it's difficult for you to to trust this process that you're going through, where things are falling away and things are changing. So they're asking you to do um, let, letting go meditations or whatever you feel is best for you, but they are showing me very specific uh, letting go meditations. So those guided meditations where you're letting go and they're asking you to do that. Um, they're showing it sort of like stacked all together. So, so do it like every day, some type of, not that it has to be a schedule because that might be, that's a little too much to try to schedule something with you right now. Um, but to just uh, try to, to do that every day, the letting go meditations, letting go and, and trusting the process, letting go and trusting because what your normal has been is to 
to um, work with your guides and then come up with, with plans and then try to um, control things, which is what we all do. That's how we, um, that's, we learn that from very young and we're in condition to do that. So they're asking you to, to let go and allow them to, to help you more, almost to take over almost like you're handing it to them and know that, that you won't you won't fall that, that they'll hold you this is i feel like this is something that would be really difficult you know for, for you to do to let go and fully trust without all of your input so it's you trusting and letting go allowing things to happen around you even if they fall away um letting go letting go letting go trust 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 it's it's almost like in your case, for you to be involved the least amount possible. Because in doing that, then this healing, healing uh, I'm calling it well, program or protocol is what they're calling it. This healing protocol is, will, will be able to, to really, you'll be able to absorb it really well in that sort of letting go and allowing um, phase. But it's really not uh, more, you, you do allow things. But it's more like letting go, and it's not only things that you feel are best. It's thing you're letting go with the angel collective, them specifically, allowing them to help you. Are they on board with the master fast system? Because that's letting go of a lot as well. Um, it'll free up a lot of my time and structures that I had, I'll say, had been, and are causing me stress right now as well. Yeah, yeah. They, I, um, I felt them. They really like that um, process because it does. Um, well, it. They're sharing with me that it it takes away layers. I'm not exactly understanding. I'm sure you know. It takes away the di different layers and it gets things down to just this this to the um the middle of things, inner things. Mm -hmm. So, the the hard part for you is going to be um, letting go of those things that you're used to doing and all those sort of ways that, that you're you're able to control things right now. Letting all those things fall away will be a little harder for you than, than you think, but they want to encourage you and they're very happy that you're here now and we're having this conversation because all of this is sort of about to start this process. So they want to encourage you to let go and trust that it's okay and that's the right thing to do. Even if when you let those things go, some other things happen that that don't feel quite um, you're not used to. There's some fear there because it's not what you're used to. Sort of like you know you're. They want you to to trust them and to sort of like do the trust fall or step off the cliff and know that they'll they'll pick you up. That's the type of trust. That's the, asking for. Awesome. That's the fear um, and why I've been doing the tapping and EFT to even like literally function. And I kind of had a download on making um, a really more concise and faster way of doing the tapping. Um, I I'm also want to be working on that really soon. Um, are they on board with that too? It's a synthesized process for accelerated calibration with um, trauma and clearing it yeah yeah that's that's okay to do that's okay to do the healing is they're showing it like in numbers so the healing um, program is number one and then the cleansing part would be uh, that goes along with it would be number number two and then the um, that what you just talked about is would be like number three in priorities. So it's, it's, it would be okay to do, but the other two things and the first thing are the really most important things because it has to do with the layers that they're talking about, taking away, away the layers, especially the, the cleanse part. So they don't, but they don't want, they don't want that to be a source of stress for you. And they don't want you to use that in order to try to sort of um, control things and not let go. So if you can do that it, along with the other things and still work on letting go and trust, then that's okay. But if it hinders you and kind of keeps you um, from from feeling and, uh, and allowing things to fall away that don't need to be there anymore, then um, 
then I would put that on, on hold. You'll be able to, to feel that out, though. Can I ask about who's been in my field? I just, um, there's two beings. One shows up on the left and one shows up on the right. And I actually feel like they're my two hybrid kids or aborted children. Um, and I don't really know what these messages are. It's, it's weird to have, they're um, geometric. It's weird to have them in my field. Um, and they will show up when I'm about to, I feel like one's more, well, one is a boy and one is a girl, I believe. Um, I don't know if they're, it's like a code. I don't know why they're showing up. Okay. So you just, you just want to know, has this just been recently that they've sort of popped in? No, they've been around for like the winter months here. Um, yeah, it's, it's ever Ever since I like my last accident, they're really like in my field. Okay. 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 Let's see what I can get. So this was arranged um, in, in the astral energetically. So it was arranged that they would um, come be with you. And they're really, they're learning from you. So you asked for them to come on a soul level, energetic level, higher level. You asked for them to come and, and be with you um, in this dimension, human body and with this, um, this consciousness that you have here so so that they can learn from you so you're teaching them you're being um, a good parent and you're teaching them uh, they're learning also about the 3d and about this, this type of dimension but I don't feel like they um, that they all the time it almost feels like they come in and then stay for a little while, and then some. Then they there's like these little breaks in between, or some something like that. So yeah. so just know that they are. It's important for them to take breaks. You know. If, were they hu human or hybrid? I just didn't catch that one part. Yeah, those are um, those are are hybrid. I feel that they're hybrid. That's interesting. Okay, well I won't take up much any more time. Those messages all make so much sense for me. Um, Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you for that. And I'm just going to go ahead and just quickly uh, take the liberty to elaborate just for a second, um, because what Chris had mentioned, the energy clearing protocol completely changed my life and helped me heal myself from chronic Lyme disease and um, other stuff that was going on. Um, and everyone can do it. It combines quantum physics with acupressure in a circle. It's free. You can Google energy clearing protocol. Um, the lady Candy Vanda Walker had put it out there for free. Please, people, check it out and send it to others uh, because it is completely life changing and letting go. Um, as had just been said, is really the biggest part when you really just kind of say, you know what, I don't know what's going to happen. This, I'm just going to try this out. But um, yeah, I, I believe that things can change from here. Um, that's what it takes. So Chris, I really, I wish you the best. I know you've been going through a really hard time. And so um, I'm excited to hear as things continue to improve for you. So uh, thank you. Thank you for your questions. Um, Moving forward, then we do have tons more questions lined up here. David Allen is next. David, are you able to unmute? Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's just one. It's just one question. Is that? Is that for the past several years I've been getting the energy of of us of at least two different entities in in my house and 
Yeah, and I've been told that they were like possible Pleiadians that were just observing me. Yes, maybe you can ask like in greater detail what they're doing around my house. Okay. okay. Okay, so what what they're showing me now the, these beings that have come forward, they are they look to me sort of like the um, the the Nordic type. I know there's different. I see them you know different ways, but they they look like the more like they look more human. So what I see them doing is I see them making changes to your home and like to to your surroundings. So they're not they're setting up some type of um your home for for communications and also for for healings but i feel like they're showing me them not really talking to you yet it's like they're very busy and like they're doing things like if you were to move into a new home you were busy moving things around arranging things and i feel them doing lots of arranging in your home um especially in your bedroom area so they're um, and they just told me setting up. So they're setting things up so that there can be some communication. And they also want to do some type of it's healing on you. It's a um, it's some type of all body healing. So it's not a specific tar uh, type of, of the body, not a specific part of your body. It's just like this all body um, some type of healing that they want to do. Now you have um, this has been arranged on on a soul level. Now they um, they're glad that you're asking this question because they they're saying that if you don't want this to happen, that you could um, say no. Uh, now that you are aware of it, that you can that you can um, say no to this at any time if if it bothers you. Because what will happen is the frequency. They're raising the frequency in your home. So they're raising the frequency in your home and surrounding around the outside of your home too. They're raising the frequency so that there can be increased communication or communication. There's like a, um, that they're making it where they need it to be. And also for the healing, those are two parts that they're doing that for and they're both equal the same. Not one is, is um, more important than the other. They want to do both of those things with you. So um, if you if but if at any time the frequency gets to be too much or if it's too intense, you can just ask them um, because they just told me they're saying like you're the boss of this. So you can control how you want it to be or, or not be. OK, yeah, thanks. It was just I have noticed. That them on occasion or like over the years I was just like mostly wondering exactly what they were doing yeah this, yeah. this is some type of of like new level so this they, they have done other things but this is something yeah. this is the project they're doing right now with you yeah okay yeah. Diane and is there anything that my higher self wants to tell me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do that. Okay, so I'll connect with your higher self. So you want to know just any, just whatever your higher higher self wants you to know? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Okay, so when I connected with your higher self, so your higher self showed me um, uh, showed me the word food, and so the advice for right now in this moment would be to um, look at your foods and the type of foods that you're eating, and it's not about if you're eating bad foods or good foods because something that's a bad food for me might be a good food for you or vice versa. So your higher self is saying that um, for you to connect more with, with your body, asking your body what type of foods are um, going to work well with you and, and your higher self is connecting it with the information from the Pleiadians as far as um, what types of foods are going to be good for you to, to have while in this increased frequency. So that's um, that's just, so your higher self is saying that that's an important piece, an important part of this conversation. Now, another thing that I'm seeing, it feels um, not connected to that, but I don't, I'm not really sure exactly <clears throat> what it means, but I see like, um, like almost like a, a big tablet and there's there's letters and then there's also like another language so there's the English language letters and then there's there's another oh, okay so so there's going to be some um, yeah so it feels disconnected because it's further down the line there's going to be some changes in language and there's going to be some types of downloads with lang language from them in the future. So not right now. All this stuff is going to, once they get everything sort of set up, then your higher self is saying, while they're setting everything up for you to work on with your body and what types of foods will be good for you, the food is, is the most important thing. And then um, sort of things that will kind of come from all this is going to be your access and use of language in the future. That's one of the, so they're showing me, um, this is the Pleiadians, so they're showing me sort of like uh, like you would have like a list, and that's at the top of the list is language and communication. They just wanted you to know that, so you would have kind of an okay. idea of what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Nabila has a question next. Hello, Julie. How are you? I'm Nabila. Good. It's good to see you. <laughs> good to see you, too. Um, my question is, is there any messages from Pleiadians or my guides? Because I feel as though they might have some stuff to say. Thank you. Okay, so um, this is so they're, they're telling me, um, they're saying we're her Pleiadian guides. So they want to talk about school. So they want to talk about um, are there some changes coming up? Are you switching schools or is there a different grade or is something, <clears throat> is something changing? Um, I'm changing my math class. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there's, there's, they, they're saying that they want to talk about the human school. So the current school that, that you're in now, because I don't know if you know this, but you also attend um, school, you know, in the astral um, with them. So they, yeah, that's, yeah. So they're talking about your human school and they want you to know that it does have to do with the changing of the math class because the math is going, there's going to be, they're calling them elements. 
I don't know exactly what that means. You probably know once you start the class, but there's going to be elements in that class that are going to come very easy to easy for you and are going to be like a trigger for you. And then some more things will be changing after that. So it's something they're saying it's something a really small shift and change, but they were actually involved in that in changing um, the class and, and in your school and um, and giving you guidance on that because there needs to be some type of, of trigger that happens and it's connected with um, with what they're what they're teaching and they want you to have a higher awareness and almost it's almost like a bridge a bridge to what you're you're learning over there too because it sort of runs um, parallel there's something else with the school but I can't quite pinpoint it and they're not giving me extra information. So just know that there, I feel like there's going to be, um, they are showing me like a revolving door. So there are going to be some more changes in your school. So there might be some more changes in classes or maybe some changes in teachers, but they want you to know that that's because um, they're sort of guiding that because some things need to shift and change in your human schooling. Uh, Do you have that's interesting. That? Mm -hmm. um, no, I don't. That's about it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So just know when those things sort of pop up and you're kind of like, why is that happening? Just know that that's why. <laughs> oh, sorry. I do have one more question, if you don't yeah. mind. Um, I was just wondering if they have any advice on like the stuff that I'm going through currently. Thank you. So, so does that have to do with um, um, other friends and groups and community? Yeah. Well, you're just, just in general, like in my life and all that. Yeah, they originally had started to to um, connect me with something, and then they shifted to the school. So let me go deeper with that and see what that see what that was. Okay, so this, this information is still coming from your Pleiadian guys. So they want you to, this is their advice for things that are going on around you right now. So they want you to ask for people and friends that are, will, that will, help you that are of your highest and best interest is, is the way to say it because your energy is sort of like a magnet and you just sort of um, and there's a reason for that I'll come back to that your energy is like a magnet so you just sort of attract and then people just like like come come to you they want you to have more sort of discernment about who you allow in your sort of group and your energy energy fields this is online and also in the physical. So it's not just like um, online. It's also in physical when you're at school and your physical friends. So and they're saying that the way that you can can sort of balance that out is by sending out the intentions of what types of friends and people that you want in your life. It doesn't even have to be just friends in anybody, people that you want to communicate with people that you want to have any type of relationship with. So, so there's some inner work that they're suggesting that you do for yourself as far as they're having me like sit back. So it's like saying, what is it that I really um, need and want in my life that's of my highest and best interest? Really sort of looking within yourself and seeing what, what is it that you want. Do you want um, a group of friends? and not necessarily a really close friend, but a group of friends you can connect with at all different times, or do you want two or three really good friends? Just what what is it? It seems to be moving towards friend friendships. So really taking a step back 
and thinking about that, thinking about about what it is that you want, because then that will sort of give you a little bit of um, energetic control about who's coming towards you and who is in your space and in your life. And then then you will have more confidence, more trust. That's the word more trust because then you'll know, well, I put those intentions out there and these are the people that I wanted, you know, to, to come in, into my life. So it's something um, to work on and, and to play with. And it's a really nice um, lesson for you to, to sort of be working on. That was oh, great. They, oh. well, they wanted me to, I'm sorry before, I, before it goes, it's all right. It's all right. To go back to the whole magnet thing. So the reason, um, why your energy energy is like that is because um, even now, but uh, really in, in the future too, you know, you're um, a leader and you're going to be sort of um, leading different groups and doing different things. There will be lots of things you'll be doing. So it's important for you to, to be a magnet because you want to have that strong strength to pull the people to you. So what you're, what they're wanting you to learn now is how to pull the right people to you. Because that mag magnetism is just who you are. You're not going to be changing that as part of your purpose. So it's just pulling in the right people in your space. Yeah. Thank you. That was so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Much love. Much love to you. Wow. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Uh, next up, we have a question from Herkimer Diamond. Um, she wanted to know if you're able to bring through any information about the ivory colored Arcturians that she has been seeing, like who they are and why they've been around. And also maybe a message from her guides, please. Okay, so this is really um, interesting, and I haven't seen this before. So I could see this sort of um, what you're talking about, the Arcturians, and the sort of sort of ivory color. It's like an ivory color, almost like a little bit translucent is how I see them. So um, the one is kind of stepping forward. So he's saying that they um, he's offering they're offering healing to you. Now, the way that you connect with them is because he's showing his arms open like this. I know this is a little strange, but um, he's saying to visualize yourself walking into his body. So you're walking into his energy, and then that's how they, they work and they do healing. So you're walking into his energy, and then his energy is surrounding you. So it's almost like when you see them, um, when they visually show themselves to you, that's sort of like a little um, cue that they're there to help you and to heal if you want that. So just walk into their um, their light, their being, you know, their their presence there. Walk into it, and then it will be like almost like a bubble of healing around you. Um, he's saying that this is the way that they heal. Um, this is the way that they are able to heal humans while you're here on this earth. That's how they work. They're very... Um, so they're very almost what would be like what we would call like it like an elder or like an elder healer. So they have um, they have lots of, of concentrated uh, healing energy in their in their field. So that's why they they do it that way. So um, now as far as from your guides, your guides kind of came some guides kind of came in on this specific guide. But um, although he, uh, he, there's a male, there's a the male energy there so he's saying that um, there's been some issues with your sleep and because I feel like really tired like I feel like you're really tired so there's some 
he's calling them inconsistencies with your sleep. So maybe you're sleeping late one day and then having to get up early the next or something like that. The pattern is kind of erratic for your sleep. So your guides are just saying if you could work on your sleep patterns and then also your guides are looking at the Arcturian guides. So they're connecting with them and they're saying that they're working together. So you could um, also when you're connecting with the ivory Arcturians just to to um, to have that kind of as an intention. Can you help me with my sleep? So my sleep isn't so disturbed and my patterns aren't so erratic or 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 whatever. Just um, sort of ask ask for that specifically and then they can they can help you with your sleep because that um, other areas so and then also your guides are saying that when we don't have um, you know enough sleep or we don't have a good sleeping pattern so they're talking more about the patterns with you I'm going to sleep six hours this day six hours it needs to be sort of try to make it if you can consistent I'm gonna sleep this block of time try your best to do that because then when you get really tired then you're not able to connect with your guides as much and receive that information it's sort of like your auric field kind of just comes closes in on you um, on you at, at least you specifically close sort of closes in on you and then it's almost like it blocks off any communicate you know communication so that's why your guides are talking about your sleep and why it's important for you to work on that yeah that's what they have for you all right thank you for that awesome okay um next up we have a question from amran Hello, Julie. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm happy you're here. Thank you for coming. Yes, thank you for taking questions. Um, I have a, I don't know, if, if you could connect to anyone of, of those around me um, to answer this question. I feel like this year a lot will happen for me. Um, I don't know what these changes are, personal or, I, I have no idea. Just just if you, maybe if you could um, get some messages from those around me or connect to something that will happen for me in this year, a change. Okay. Because I'm very confused around all that. Okay. Yeah, so, so you're feeling a lot, so you want like more clarity in like what's happening and what's, yes. what's going to happen. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, so there's sort of a couple different things going on. So you have um, you have a lot of beings around you. I think you kind of always have that, but it's not necessarily that you have a lot of beings around, but you have lots and lots of connections. Like you can switch to this one, this one, this one. So there's sort of lots of beings sort of always available and around you. Now, there is, um, I have to say this because I can't, it's like kind of distracting me. There is a being that's with you, but I feel like he is a family member that has passed on. It's a, a very male energy. So there's a family member that is, okay, a family member that has passed on that is there, and he wants you to know that he's helping with family issues. So he's saying that specifically. So he wants you to know that he's there and he wants you to know that he's helping you and other members of the family to work on. He's like smoothing it out. He's like, like, it's like 
uh, make it's wavy and he's like doing that with his hand. So he's he wants you to know that that he's helping with, with those things. Now there is um, so as far as the things that are going to be coming up for you. So there's a um, so there's a male guide. He wants to explain a little bit about what's going on. So um, because you're very um, in tune and, and connected yourself, what's happening is is that for you in this lifetime, you have it so that so that you have all these different little pathways that you can take. Um, some people, it's like really like one sort of broad pathway, uh, maybe one or two, something like that. But for you, it's very um, complicated, almost like a maze. So you have it sort of set up where if you do this thing, then this will take you down this path and then you'll kind of go over here. So you have lots of different things and ways that you could do things. But what's happening is, is that you are more sensitive now to timelines. So something has happened and you're more sensitive to, to time and to the future. So you're feeling all that you have sort of set up uh, before you were reincarnated into this lifetime. You have lots of different things set up. So you're sort of you sort of feeling that. And then it's a little bit overwhelming because you're feeling all all, the, all these possibilities. So their guide his guidance for you. I just want to explain a little bit what he looks like because he's showing me something really specific. It's kind of interesting. So he's showing me himself with like a red, um, I guess it would be almost like a cloak or something. And then he has like a, a staff and then over his head, this kind of, it looks like, uh, you know, where they wear like those bear skins and they have like the bear head, like right, like a headdress. That's sort of what he's wearing. So he's, he's sort of bring, bringing that, that energy to you. So what he's, his advice is, is to, um, to sort of back, to try to, pull your energy back in from from all the different possibilities of things that you could do and uh, just be open to the best available opportunity. That's like his words. So when you're sort of sitting in your space, then you're saying, and there's sort of like something you need to decide or, or something coming up and just say, what is the, what is the best available opportunity for me right now? And then there will be more clarity there. So he takes the staff and he kind of puts it like on top of your head. So he's going to help you with this. Then there will be moment, more moments of clarity rather than trying, rather than feeling every, all the possibilities that are out there. It's about moments of clarity and, and then, and then finding the best possible way for you that way. There is um, some type of shifting. I'm trying to sort of pinpoint it, but um, it's a little bit difficult. So it's like there's a home and then there's shifting underneath the home, almost like what, like if there were an earthquake and you, you would see the house moving and shifting. So I feel like what that means is that there's going to be one of the things that are coming up for you, sort of things popping up for you. It's going to be um, shifting in the home environment. Um, as far as um, you moving or there will be someone else moving. There's movement in there also. Yeah. So so um, he's showing me like it, it moving and then moving faster and faster. So there's momentum behind that. So there's going to be some events happening that will cause this movement, um, whether it's yourself or, or someone else. It's almost like that hasn't been like decided yet but there will be some type of change in the household that's the thing that's sort of like if you're going like down a path and that whoop, that like pops up right in front of you that's the thing that's going to be popping up for you next yes thank you very much that's very correct and okay. I, am, I am i am i am connecting to to a specific to many realities actually but one one of it is like my future reality and i pop into it sometimes and then come back again like feeling it and I think you are right there, there will be uh, there will be a change in in, in my location uh, but I don't know if it's um, I think it's in a, another country I have to move move into so yeah yes yeah I don't know if you, yeah. you also feel that mm -hmm. that resonates because it's sort of like um 
the way that, that he's showing it to me and it's shifting so much on, under the home. It's like it's shifting, like the land is shifting. Let me, uh, let I'm me being shaken off from my ground to, to move out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they are kicking me out. <laughs> shaking me out of there, right? <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah. It, they're, they're um, so it's 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 not uh, there. There's possibilities there. So there's the pathway if you stay in the country, and then there's you know of course a pathway if, if you if you don't. Then there's pathways, you know, if you go to this country or, or this country. So that he said he's going back to um, what's important for you to to ask is what is the best opportunity for me right now and he's saying that um he's showing his hands like this so so take a when you're ready to know the answer take a moment of of silence prayer meditation however you relax and then ask that question what is it this what's the best opportunity for me right now in this moment and i can see that you will get a very clear message and he's going to help this particular guy is going to help you with that so when you're ready, just just do that, and then you'll get the clear message, and then trust that that that, that is is actually the best thing for you. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Yes. Bye. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have a question from Tracy Hunter, who's watching on YouTube. She says. Julie, can any of the galactics clarify for me the frequency tones I'm getting in my head? Some are downloads, but now I think there might be more. Thank you. Okay, so um, so the when I connect with the the tones, the beings that I feel are Syrian. So um, and I I see them as um like like blue blue Syrian. So with with the tones, um, you're you're correct. There's there's more to it because. It feels like they they sound or feel different to you. So you're recognizing that there's a difference between the downloads and a difference in this communication because that's what it is. It's like a um, it's a communication. So now this is what they're showing me is for whenever that happens and you notice the difference, the different frequencies to um, try to match that with with actual to with you toning and trying to to match it. So they want you to um, try this and and experiment with it. They're also showing me, um, this doesn't have to do with the question, but it's something they want to share. So they're showing me like you sort of holding like this, um, it's like a, well, it would be like a staff, but at the top it has like this sort of triangle shaped, uh, looks like a clear crystal but kind of um, with different types of edges on it. Almost like, like an arrowhead, but not quite like that, that sharp at the top of it. So they're showing me you holding that, and they want you to know that there are past life connections with the, the Syrians, um, with these Syrians, and that you were, um, you had, so they're saying that 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 symbol has to do with a um, higher sort of leadership type, but it was really spiritual leadership type of role that you had. So like you were a spiritual leader as a Syrian at one time, that's a past lifetime. So they're saying that they're sharing this with you. It actually is connected because when um, with the tones that they're communicating it, that because in the beginning they showed me language, but then it didn't feel quite it didn't feel quite right. So then 
uh, shifted and they showed me the other stuff. But it does have to do with language. It has to do with reconnecting with, with their language and the language they you used to speak. So they just showed me the word exploration. So this is just sort of about fun exploration for you and reconnecting with that. That's what it's about right now. Now later on, there might be something deeper with, with language um, or you might have some more recollection of, of the past lifetime. There might be some other things that come from that. There's some type of energy to be drawn from that lifetime. But right now it's just about sort of having fun with it. So try to do um, the Tony. So when you hear it, then try to sort of like um, connect with that and match the tone, matching, matching with your with humming. And also uh, you can because I feel like there's a crystal right here. So you could either buy one to wear or just have one to hold. And it feels like like quartz, like a clear type of crystal. So you could you could um, even try that too. If you don't already have that piece or have something like that, then you you could uh, get something like that with the intention of of connecting with the Syrians. Yeah, that's all they have for that. All right. I that was helpful. I hope that was helpful and didn't get like off topic. <laughs> <laughs> with what she was asking, but that's what they wanted her to know. So. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm sure it was at least um, insightful, definitely. So thank you for that, Julie. Mm -hmm. Awesome, you bring through very interesting information. Um, okay, next up we have a question from JD Johannes. Hi. Yes. The question was, uh, I had a meditation two, two weeks ago, uh, and in the meditation there was a man with specifically in, uh, his hands in his pocket, and I sort of woke up, I snapped out of the meditation when he was so present because I thought he was in the room so I sort of woke up but he wasn't there when I woke up so get my point and uh, I just wanted to ask if there were any messages from the spirit specifically uh, that wanted to come through that maybe weren't so clear yeah yeah it was, it was really if, if she saw the same the same man because we were in the meditation together and she saw him too, so just a connection. You can elaborate on the connection with him, what he wanted, um, and also if there's any messages from my spirit guides at this time. Okay. Okay. With now with this man, I actually saw this man before I got started when I was doing my um, sort of meditation before before I start. So I saw a man come in, and he had his hands in his pockets. And he sort of sat down in the corner, and so I just thanked him for coming. And um, but he didn't really communicate with me a lot, um, so I'm kind of excited about it because this is when you said that it's the same it's the same person. So let me just I'll connect with him and see if he has any um, info information for you. Okay, so, so um, this um, guy, so he's actually um, in the process, sort of, of, of passing over. So he's he's actually connected with you. So he's um, explaining to me now. His energy is a little different. It's a little harder for me to, to connect with 
but he's explaining to me that he's really there because he wants your help in knowing what to do next. So I asked him if I was able to help him, but um, his energy feels very close to yours. And I didn't really get a response, so I don't think that that's an option. It's sort of like he, he didn't really um, even understand what I was saying. So I believe that he, he, he is connected with you. It's not in a negative way. I don't know if you've had this happen before, but there is um, something about you and your energy that is um, very bright to people who have passed over. I feel like this has happened to you before, but maybe you weren't aware of it at the time or something like that. This isn't the first time that's happened though. So what it is, is this uh, being is sort of like, in, you know, in, in that in between. And he's just, he just, for some reason, it's almost like if I were going somewhere and I got lost and I asked someone and I said, can you um, help me, you know, get to uh, place A, wherever it is I'm going. And they said, oh, that guy over there right there knows exactly where to go and he can help you. So then I go to him. So then I'm connected with him so that he can tell me where to go. So you have the, the type of energy where you, you can do that. You can help him um, sort of cross over. So you do have a guide that's coming through that's male and he's standing like in a doorway. He's like really bright. I can see him really clearly. So he has on lots of green and the doorway is a very um, bright gold and he like is wearing some gold too. Just so, so you know if he shows himself to you. So he's saying that he can help you if you have people that come to you like this that need assistance crossing over because he's saying this isn't the first time that this has happened and it probably won't um, be the last time that this this will happen for you especially when you do things like the meditations like where you're um, where you're more open and accepting it's almost like you know your door is open so more people come in if you're like in an office you know your door is open people so so that's what happens in the meditations so he's saying the guide is saying that if if this doesn't resonate with you and you don't want to sort of be this type of person that helps people to cross over um, to just uh, communicate that um, just, just energetically and um, and it's and then he's saying it will it will be something you will not be tasked to do. So it will. Um, so then those sort of opportunities to help people pass over will not will not come to you anymore. It's really interesting because he's sort of just sitting like um, I can just sort of feel him. And I do. Um, it doesn't you know, he's, he's not negative. He just has this sort of. I'm not sure where to go next type of feeling, you know, like, like if you were, um, if you went, you know, if you went to a store or something and, and you're like, I need, I need this, this item. And then you don't know where it's at. And you're kind of looking around trying to figure out where to go. That's just sort sort of his energy. So you could help him with that if you wanted to. Okay. Thank you, Julie. Very interesting. All right. Um, next, we have a question from Kina. This is a really quick question. She was just asking if you're able to get clarification of a name of one of the higher dimensional crustacean collective friends who has helped her out recently. OK, so, so I guess I could ask for ask for the name of one of them that works most the closest with her or the most with her. So I think, I think that's where I'll go with that.
Okay, so this was a little difficult because there I feel like it's almost like they're they're this family. They feel very close and it's like they all wanted to share their names and they all are, you know, they all <laughs> wanted to share who they are. So, um so the one that um, stands out the most is of male energy. So the name that I got is Ranlo. So it would be spelled it would be spelled R A N L O. So okay, so so he's saying um, he's saying that since uh, you now know his name, that he can be the representative um, for the group. I've never connected with these beings before, but they're very, um, they have a, a very um, different sense of humor and they're very sort of uh, loud and um, they are very close in their group. I feel like they're all like sort of standing or being like really, really close to each other. So, but that's the name that I got. Okay, great. Thank you. I know she'll be thankful to hear that. Um, next up, we have a question from Katie, who was asking if you are able to um, help her figure out what her current biggest blockage is right now. Great. I love those those questions like that. Okay, so... I feel like there's something else I need to ask. I'll just connect and then and then see if I need to ask anything else. Wonderful, thank you. Okay, so um, I can't. I don't feel a guide quite yet, but I feel like one, one will come through when I start talking more. So what happened is when I connected, I actually just sort of saw your energy body, and then um, I felt like I should look at your chakras for like actual energy blockages, those types of blockages. So what I saw was in between your um, heart chakra and your solar plexus chakra, which is like your power center, there's um, some disconnection. And it's it's almost like, um, sort of like this, there's this sort of dark sort of line that goes up. It's not in anything negative, it's just that's how it's showing me that there's a, there's a disconnection there. So they're showing me an actual energy blockage. So I'm going to kind of go back and then see if they want to give advice on that, on how you can, how you can clear that. Okay, so um, you did have a female guide come through when I asked that question. So she's showing me that it's because there are, um, you're holding on to past relationships and you're holding it in your, your power center and then that's keeping you from really connecting through your heart chakra and connecting to, um, she's saying, beautiful people out there who, who want to um, connect with you. It's past relationships. It doesn't necessarily feel romantic, although there could be some there. Um, it does feel sort of like family. Um, there, there are some type of romantic relationships, and also um, there's some relationships with, with your mother 
past, so through childhood. So there's some things. Um, the guidance is for you to work on clearing out that uh, yellow solar plexus chakra and releasing things from the past and then being more open in your heart center. And that's, that's kind of like a, a lot. You know, there's lots of um, research you, you can do on that with the chakras because she wants to share that you naturally, the way that you are as a being, you're very giving and open through your heart and and open and receiving and you do a lot of communication and connection through your heart center that's why um, things that's why you have some anxiety and things just aren't feeling right because you're not living true to your to yourself and you're not like in alignment with with who you really are so it's um, they're making me feel kind of cold so I'm not quite sure why but I think that it's sort of symbolic yeah for it's like you're sort of out in the cold so you're you're not really um, in that warm cozy um, home environment like you that could be physical also but there's warm home environment that your heart is used to being in you're just sort of sort of out in the cold because you're holding on to things from the past and this is something that you know that that we all do one of our biggest lessons letting go of things so so um, just working on the solar plexus chakra releasing and the heart chakra opening up and, and then connecting those two. There's there's um, some work there. You know, there's 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 quite a bit of work there that, that you can do. And it's just part of your um, part of your learning process. But the end result is that you would be in better alignment and then you could be um, more connected to your true self. And giving to others again because it feels like you were giving person and then these blockages and now it's hard for you to you know to, to really there's some stuff going on there but to be in your true nature and to be happy is, is when you're giving and helping others so that's that's where the blockages are wonderful yeah she said it's so on point thank you <laughs> <laughs> so that's awesome that's what um that's awesome all right so we have um, we have 11 more people lined up in the queue. I know that we're getting a little bit close to the end time here. Julie, I wanted to ask how you're doing on energy levels. Oh, you're muted somehow. I didn't. Oh, Sorry, I get a little space. The more you get into it, like the less you can do like normal things. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but um, OK, so maybe like um, I could do two more. Sure. I could probably more questions and then that's probably then I'll probably be too, you know, too tired after that. Yeah. Sure. That sounds good. Okay. All right. Then um, next up we have a question from uh, Jody. Uh, Jody Runyon, who's watching on the YouTube live, she was asking if there are any messages from her guides or her higher self. And she says thank you. So I just I just want her to know that as you were asking that question, there's like this hawk that just came and landed like right outside my window on the fence and he's like looking right at me. So um, before, just before I connect so I don't forget, if she could look that up um, as, a, as a spirit animal, because I feel like it's connected with Jody. So just look that, kind of, kind of look that up and, and see what that has for you. Okay, so let me... Okay, so so what I'm feeling um, when I connect with Jody's energy is I feel a lot of um, sort of deep sadness 
So I'm not sure if there has been a loss recently because it feels sort of, sort of like grief. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a loss of a person. It could be, you know, loss of job or, or, um, a, or relationship or something like that. But it feels very heavy, like on my shoulders. Yeah. So, um, an angelic being that's uh, that's stepping forward. So this is actually Archangel Gabriel, and sometimes he comes through in my in uh, in my readings. So this is what he's asking. Um, so there is some some type of sorrow, or grief, or loss there. So he's asking if you could hand it over to him, even if it's for a short period of time. There can be um, a shift and change in your energy because what's happened is there's some type of um, it's like like a pattern like being in a rut and it's like you just can't quite get out of it it feels a little bit like a um, like a depression type of energy so there's some type of rut there so if you are willing to hand it over to Archangel Gabriel there's other archangels too that I feel like um, being involved. I, I just sort of feel them here. So I don't know if you already work with them. You work with angels, but if you don't already work with them, then they're asking you to open up to them and connect with the archangels and and do some some work with them. I have to kind of come back to that part, but. There, um, so Gabriel specifically is very sort of front and center. So he's asking you to hand hand that over to him, so that your vibration can raise and you can sort of get get out of out of this rut. Now, the second part to that is is that the they would like for you to work with them. This means actual work with them. So it could be channeling or doing some type of um, the angel card readings or. Um, or some type of healing with them. There's, there's like a, um, there's a very deep connection with the, the angels. Now I do want you to know that, that uh, you know you're a light worker being. I can, as, and you know that means you have, you know, a specific purpose in the, in the light. Um, so I don't know if you know that or not, but that's, that's, that's you are, and. A lot of light workers, we go through these sort of phases where we have this kind of grief and loss, some types of depression, and and that's there is purpose in that. I know it's kind of hard to you know to see when, when you're in it because we feel the most, we feel all of all of these things, and when you're not living in the, the your purpose, then you feel even worse. So uh, so the advice is. To connect more with the angelic beings, that will bring you closer um, to to feeling who you really are, and kind of get you out of out of out of what's going on, because they want you to know that it's not permanent. It is something that you needed to go through so you can help others, but it's it's not permanent. It doesn't it doesn't have to be. So, yeah, it, you can message me um, after. If there's more if there's more questions with that. Wow, thank you. That's uh, very powerful. Um, okay, so we're going to go to Rebecca's question next, and then, um, you know, we still had a lot of people in the queue, so I definitely apologize to everyone who was unable to get their questions answered. Thank you so much, everyone, for asking. Um, we really appreciate it. So Rebecca was asking um, if there are any messages for her from her higher self and any messages in particular regarding love and relationships. And she says, thank you.
Okay, so so this is the so the there's a guide that's the the guide that's there. She's um, female, so she showed herself to me wearing lots and lots of of pink and different shades of pink and with pink in her hair. So so she is um, a guide that's helping you um, with love and relationships. So. She's showed me you sort of um, sitting. Well, actually, you were sitting in between like two people. It's a more romantic feel, and then the other person was more of a friendship type of feeling. So then she showed me you holding hands with the friendship type of of um, energy. So she wants you to know that there is for you. Your most romantic relationships will come first as friendships. So whenever you, for you, it will be less like the sort of dating type thing, like where you're uh, being, you know, set up on blind dates, where you're dating, where you're doing anything that would be online, anything like that. So your um, most successful romantic relationships will come from friendships first. That will be, so she's saying that's just a little um, guidance for you in that area. Now, there is um, another guide, though, that wants to come through and share some information, some different information. So I'm going to, I want to connect with this guide. Um, but that's your guidance as far as love and relationships. That for you in this lifetime, that's where your most successful ones are going to come from, is um, being friends at work first or just, just friends. So she's saying that because she doesn't want you to overlook that possibility. Like this person is my friend, so we can't have a romantic relationship. Well, you know, sometimes that that is for certain people. It doesn't work out that way. But for you, that works well. Um, okay, let me connect this other guy. Okay, so this other guy, he wanted to come through um, because he just uh, wants to talk about, um, I can't tell if it's, it feels like it has to do more with, um, yeah, okay, so this is what he's saying. So he wants you to know that a school type environment as far as you know, college or any type of, of education or any type of education where you're in a classroom, that that type of education is may not be the best route for you. Because what he's showing me is you sort of sitting in a desk and then you just kind of leaning back and then you're like outside in nature. <laughs> so that's not the typical classroom. So he's saying that to look at different ways of learning and different pathways rather than just uh, brick, you know, building schools, even, even different than online schools, those types of things where it's like this type of format. So he's saying he wants to share that with you um, because there's something where you're thinking about furthering education or, or, or either you're going to, something's going to come up, an opportunity where you can further your education. Some, something is going to happen or is happening. So he wants to share that with you, to, to look at other sort of ways and other, other options. And, um, and he is specifically showing nature too, so out, outside type classes. And he, he wants you to know that, that there's more options. And to, to, because he's showing me you sort of like turning a different way. You're standing in front of a school and then you're like turning to look that way. So just look at other options and just know that there are other things out there besides, besides just that. And also to follow your own tuition. So follow your, your own tuition in furthering your education and sort of not doing what maybe other people are doing around you to really listen to what, how you, how you should go about that. Yeah, he said he just wanted to put that in there for the future. <laughs> All right. 
Awesome. She said that's very helpful info for her and she's excited. So she says, thank you. That's awesome. Well, um, I guess we're going to close up for today. Julie, this has been incredible. You've, you've done such a good job and uh, people have been really pleased with uh, the feedback I've been seeing. So we really appreciate you um, popping in and coming to help us out for another awesome Saturday morning. Um, I just wanted to reiterate your website, you said, is higherhealingbyjulie.com. All right. Yep, that's right. And it has um, all the information about my sessions there. And then it has where you can book sessions. And then it also has links to my YouTube page where I do done hangouts and things like that. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So you said you're going to be doing bi biweekly hangouts? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. So you can yeah, I try to do like a crystal reading hangout where I channel the crystals and then I try to alternate with a hangout where like today, you know, channeling beings. So um, depending on my work schedule, that's what my goal is. And it will be on my events page. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. And then people can reach you by going to um, um, also your, your email, I mean, is higherhealingbyjulie at gmail.com. Um, so you can reach out that way. And um, so please, people, book sessions with Julie. She's awesome, as you can see. Um, and she would be happy to connect. So with that said, I think we can probably wrap up for today. Thank you, everybody, for joining and contributing your energy. Thank you, everybody, for your questions. We had awesome questions. And again, apologize for not being able to answer all of them, but we appreciate uh, the contribution. So um, join us again. Uh, see you all next time. And in the meantime, much love and wishing you the best. Namaste. Thank you.